at the end of this video we are going to create this smooth transition which is going to happen between the pages and not only this two page we are going to apply this to all the pages which we have created so far so without further hurdle let's go into the video So far we have designed all the authentication pages like sign in, sign up and forgot password even the verify email pages we have designed but whenever we click on it the other page gets flash in right uh, the, the previous route goes out and then other uh, comes in so but there is no transaction like the translation be, be, be between this so the transition can be applied through angular animation so for that we are going to make use of the route animation right route transition animation uh, let's go ahead and add the animation to our component for that uh, for um, first and foremost we need the browser animation module uh, let's go to the app component app module let's add that I think we don't have it let's add browser animation module let me copy let me copy from here itself it should be there in our let me go ahead and add it here. Let me copy and add it back here. So, so with this uh, browser animation module, it will get imported to our application. The next step is we have to define the trigger in our application in, in the application module where our route routelet is there. So here you can look at route, route routelet is getting just updated with respect to the route definition, right? So let me wrap up this with a div and add this inside it so that we can apply our animation on top of this. So we're going to uh, define a trigger as like this. So we'll just copy paste the same detail here and so that so we have to define this one in our application let me uh, go to the component and in our component let's add this get animation data right i think we don't we don't have even the constructor here just copy paste both and just update this okay so there we go um what it looks for is like so from the route it is expecting a animation um, data so that we have to define now so let's go ahead to the application routing module and add those details here right so let me add the routing details uh, like uh, although the routing details is there but i'm going to add the data like uh, has like this uh, data property which is having which page the um, it is pointing to so i'm going to add the animation i'm going to mention this as uh, login page and similarly I'm going to give it for rest of the pages so the transition which we are going to apply is like see when uh, whenever you click on uh, register this page is going to um, drive to the left and then uh, the register page going to come from right and similarly the when you click on login it's going to come from left and then uh, uh, the register page is going to move from the uh, I mean like from its position to the right right so let me go ahead and add it uh, so so now for now we have added the animation uh, but we have not added uh, we have not defined the animation yet right so let me go ahead and add the animation file to the app let me click here and uh, create a new file which says animation.ts this is good and let me go ahead and uh, I mean, like you don't need to type anything here so you so the in angular documentation you already have a slide in animation so we can just take this and update it to our uh, need okay so I'll just copy it and then paste it here and we'll just import the stuff or are required let's go ahead and import them let me go ahead and import them yep all are good let me go ahead and add it i'll explain you what each thing 
in in here are is doing right so yep the file is good so we have uh, we have the animation uh, constant exported here so we have to use this animation inside our component so we already um, are trying to use the trigger here the route animation trigger that's going to be um, you know the, uh, we, we are going to make use of that by importing the animation here you can add multiple animations here so I'm going to make use of the slide in animation from our animation TS file Let's save it and now let's go back to our application it should work fine at least yep all works fine so now let's apply the just update the animation TS file right uh, let me change this to login page and this to register page Okay. and now if you look at this one right so now we have applied a applied the transition between login page and register page but if you go to forgot password page nothing is going to happen right let me uh, let me explain you what what's happening here basically the first one right the trigger the trigger is happening uh, in your app dot component app dot component so here we have defined the uh, trigger which is going to come from um, the context if you look at here the context is being retrieved from the route right so that's going to be triggered and once the trigger is done we are going to add a transition whenever there is a login page I mean like between login page and uh, register page what it's going to do is it is going to first uh, make the style position to relative and then uh, update the position of the um, entering and the leaving uh, DOMs to position absolute and it will give all these properties it will set that and later that it is going to whatever whichever element is being entered into the um, application I mean like application window it is going to start from minus 100 and leaving is going to animate because um, let's see what the animate does so animation uh, is grouped together here if you look at the animations are grouped here Wh whichever is leaving it's going to uh, go towards right i mean like left 100 percent right and then whichever is coming in it's going to end at um, left zero percent so it means let's say uh, you have already a window let me explain it in paint that will be much more easy right so you have a window here and uh, this is the whole page right so you have a window so here it's zero left zero and left hundred is here right so what we are telling here uh, whichever is entering it should start from left, left minus 100 so let's say minus 100 is here right and this page the uh, whichever page is going to enter it's going to start from outside the window which is minus 100 left minus 100 and whichever is here already whichever is going to leave it's going to end the animation at 100 means this page is going to start at zero but it is going to end at 100 which will stay here right and this is the page which is leaving whichever is entering it's going to end at zero and it comes here and that makes the page here in the web page so this is what is happening right and uh, like understanding this you can create your own um, animations right so all you can uh, together you can create um, how many hour animation you want here uh, you can define the duration of the animation right all those stuff you can do you can play around here so let me uh, update the animation file uh, so that it like the the login page will will push the register page on the right and the register page will push the uh, login page to the left so we are going to do that animation here so for that what I'm going to do is so whichever page you are in so let's say whichever your page you are in and if you are going to login page
and login page is going to be login page is going to uh, you know come in so whatever the current animation we have that's going to happen right if you save this now you can see the transition happening so for register page nothing will happen but if you are going from register page it's the login page going to push the register page out this is going to happen but we, are, we want the opposite direction to be happening for the register page for that let us create one more transition from from login page to other pages right so with this uh, with this uh, we have to update um, the properties a little more right so now the object which stays in this uh, which which comes uh, from the screen should come from the right so i'll just update the left as 100 so if you look at the diagram here our pay uh, now we need uh, to have the animation to happen this way so what i'm going to do I am saying uh, the, the page which is entering should start from 100 and end at 0. right? So let me go here and update that first. Whichever is entering, it's starting from uh, 100 and it's entered 0. right? And whichever is currently here, whichever is currently here, it's going to end at minus 100. So I am going to update this left position as minus 100 right and this should uh, okay for sorry i have updated this one i think i have updated this one ideally we have to update from whichever page to login page right so we have to update this so uh, we are going to start from here and end at zero and the leaving page should go to minus 100 right so with this let me save this and go back to our page and now let if you click on register it's going here and it's going to come back so like this the transition is more like to happen the other opposite direction so it is not only for login and register now we have applied for all the pages uh, only to the login page it will happen in the other way right so now if you go to uh, forgot password it's going to move this way and if you go to the login page again backwards so uh, this will increase the user experience a lot more better so you can apply your own transition you can um, uh, you know just understand it much more better and then you can apply your own transition to your pages so that it will increase your user experience much better thanks for watching the video uh, in our next videos we will uh, tie these forms uh, and create our user in the firebase thank you